Mr. C always makes learning science fun. He's here today with an activity that is going to encourage everyone to pick up a book and do some science. Isn't that right? Yes, because we all know that any good scientist or any good kid at home loves to read, read right? <laughs> read and or have a notebook. Because if you're a good scientist, you're taking notes, you're doing observations, and you're making it something that you can come back to and look at, right? Um, so I have a couple of notebooks here, but before that, I brought a couple of sheets of paper. I ripped them in half. Go mm -hmm. ahead and pick those up. We're talking friction today. Um, I remember learning about that in school quite well. Yeah, do you know what it is? No. It's just I mean, enough to explain, no. Yes, I'm leaving that do. to you. Well, it's, you know, when. Like generating heat, yeah, right? Yeah, generating well, heat. You're together. generating heat because you're, it's friction, right? Yes. You're rubbing two objects together. So friction is you the idea. You smell your hands after you do it? It's kind of like a burn. That's weird. But that no. is. Oh. It's, like a, it's like a burn thing. Like, that's you weird. People. <laughs> <laughs> I give science, up. Science. The smell of science. <laughs> it smells like burnt rubber. It's All right. cool. You people are judging. Actually, it's warm. I think I just killed It's actually warm. With laughter. So, when we rub our hands together, rub your hands together for me. Yes, we're, we're generating heat because we're creating <laughs> friction, right? So, friction is what allows us to stand up without falling. When we're ice skating, uh, the ice and the ice skates, there's very little friction between right. those two surfaces. And that's why you're able to glide across the ice. How do you smell that? <laughs> I've so never. you washed your hands before the show. Should we run these papers you rub together? Them, you rub these papers. They actually they move across one another very smoothly, right? Very easily. Yep. And that, that's the point. So these two sheets of paper have um, limited amounts of friction, but every object creates friction with another object, right? It's the idea that they're trying to move across one another. So I thought, if you have books at home, let's have some fun with those books. I brought some notebooks, um, and these are just, you know, <laughs> that's for you. <laughs> Thank you. These are writing just love notes. No, I wrote. <laughs> I wrote Bob with the bomb yeah, earlier it's in oh. the segment. Yes. <laughs> And on this Aww. one it says, I heart living Dayton. See, I surprise everybody with Thank our you science. Thank for that. Very nice. Absolutely. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to multiply the power of friction with these sheets of paper. And I'm not going to go through and do all of this, but I am going to flip. So what you're going to do is take two books at home. It can be notebooks. It can be um, books like little kid books, Dr. Seuss, and you're going to flip back and forth. And you're going to go through the entire booklet one sheet at a time, and I'm just doing multiple right now just to show you, give you the idea. But what you're going to do is you're going to do that with every one until you have like a notebook that is completely layered one page at a time. Mm -hmm. Okay? So right here, remember how easy those two pieces of paper glide across one another? Yeah. Right. Zach? Yes? I'm going to let you do the honors. Try to rip it apart here? Try to pull it apart. Now the tape on there, people are going to see the tape and say it's taped together. I just did that so that the the um, front and back pages don't so come apart. It's not, gonna to, no. it's not going to happen. Right? It's not going to happen, right? It's not going to happen. Give Julia a try. There you go. So that little bit of friction that we have going on, come on, muscles. That little bit of friction. I've been working out. Can you tell? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I can't do it's it. It's multiplied, right? Yeah. It's a huge amount of friction that we create in there because each of those pages are touching. There's a lot more surface area, and it's just, like, impossible to do. Ah! And we're not just showing that for camera. That is really hard to do. Yeah, it is. I, I actually took two notebooks like this, and I did it one page at a time this morning. And I brought my handy dandy Mr. C notebook. Yes. And what we're going to do is I'm going to have you gently take that. Now, you can already see the eagerness to rip this thing apart. <laughs> whoa, whoa, slow down, slow down. <laughs> I didn't say start yet. Oh, oh. I'm oh, sorry. Oh. Now, I'm just going to. Kind of ahead of ourselves. So, what's, I, I should have put a string here because it's going to buckle just like it did. Kay. Yeah. So, j try to maybe pull it on the top oh, okay, and the bottom what so that. That's yeah. pretty impressive, right? Yeah. yeah. That's, I mean, we're putting a lot of force into it. Well, that, that's. Friction. <laughs> That's friction. That's all relative, friction right? That doesn't How much smell energy weird. they're putting into it. It's friction that doesn't smell weird. <laughs> <laughs> Never going to say that again because none of you appreciate fun. <laughs> Learning science is always fun with Mr. C. You can head to his website for much more. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. You people.